But we didn't get any b hits on the Beastmaster, right? I mean, that's a decent hand, I guess. We got turn one, Dire Mole. Turn two, tap. Turn three. I mean, I guess we could buff the dust back, but this is kind of like a five drop. Maybe we get rid of this one. Yeah, that makes sense. Try to get like a... Uh, well, now we can make a huge Dire Mole here. Unfortunately, it's going to be Shadow Word paintable, right? It didn't get to four, so that's awkward. We probably have a completely terrible matchup against this guy, too. We're going to have a lot of bad matchups, guys. Because uh, if he's that gallery deck, he's got Mass Hysteria and Psychic Scream and Spirit Lash and Shadow Visions to get said cards. And uh, even when we do cool stuff, although... The egg is pretty good against Mass Hysteria, right? So I can go Dire Mole, Grim Rally. We kind of want to go Pterodax and then Grim Rally. Play around Spirit Lash. Uh, maybe I just do this together. That might make his Mass Hysteria better, but whatever. <laughs> yeah, maybe I shouldn't have played it. Because, like, if I just have these minions, Mass Hysteria, I, these both live, right? I think. Although, if this kills his first, what happens to the one ones? Are the one ones, I guess the one ones could get attacked, which is good. I must consider. Oh, we'll find out. All right, we're doing things. We're doing things. So we can go tap Dusk Bat and just go face. We can also this thing. The thing is, he has he can scream now, so he can coin scream. So we got to be careful with the corridor creeper specifically. It's really bad if he screams all these one ones though. So maybe I have to eat this thing. Plays around Spirit Lash a little bit. So what we got? We got a buffed up guy. We got a buffed up but guy and a buffed up guy. That might mean no scream. Although it might be scream. Yeah, I don't know what we should do here. Uh, do we keep playing around scream? Maybe I play the shitty one. Yeah. Two, four, seven, eight, ten, eleven. So we need four damage from this thing. Can we get four damage? If we get the Grim Growly thing, we do get there. We got a we got a lot of ways to get Grim Rally here. So far it does damage. Okay. That's not the cool way to win. We want to win with this though. All right, we got turn one librarian. Currently, the soul infusion is going on the dusk bat. We can do better, maybe. We'll try to get a beastmaster or an egg or something. No, we get the dust back. <laughs> we get the dust bat back. Do I just make this a four six and play it next turn? Interesting. 
I guess I am, right? Looks like bow? What is this? Bow, okay. Ah, uh, the value, right? Like, we could just play this now. Ah, uh, no, dodge to bow. If he plays a secret of passes, what do we do? Well, I'm not sure, actually. We have Freezing Trap covered. But... Interesting. He's got another bow, I guess. We could tap first. If we get a bat, we play the bat instead, right? I think. Soulfire? Oh, these are all... I mean, these are all good. Not this one, but... These are all the kind of cards we want. Alright. So we get an extra Solarium or Soulfire. I think we just take this one, right? Yeah. Double Solarium. All right, we need Dire Moles and, and uh, what do you call it? Ooh, it's kind of hard not to use the Silence though. Yeah, we're going to use the Silence, so we're going to just tap. Oh, we're going off. Not bad. We got a penguin. Game. Well, I'm glad I played another game here. Rexar. Is he dead? We got two Grim Rallies. Unfortunately, you can't really do them both, right? Although you could, right? You could attack and then use one again. But let's say we play the owl, but we can't. Oh, we can silence this one. So we silence this one. We play that. We do four, eight, thirteen. Must no. Destroy. Four, eight, yeah, thirteen, and then we kill one of them. Or no, we would attack first. Attack for four. Attack for ten. Attack for fifteen. So it'll be one off lethal. It's one off, right? All right, I think it's lethal now. Let the hunt begin. You face Mecha Duran. But he did play the Flame Tongue. He just played it like a turn late for some reason. All right, we got Beastmaster versus. T yeah, we'll play this. Like he currently, he currently can't kill it. Uh, without using something. All right, we didn't get a Beast, unfortunately. We're looking for Taunt here, I guess. Stealth taunt, uh, not a combo. Guess we give this attack. Back, beast. I mean, it could work out. He can, he might have to hit that for his face. Uh, trap. Okay. You can assume explosive, right? So this is weird. I, I want my Beastmaster, but I, I want to hit it for seven, but I don't want this to die. Well, let's just see. Alright, well, it's not anything. The 
Alright, oh, <laughs> I had to play a little bit quicker there, right? Alright, so, is that good? I mean, he theoretically has to hit that with his face to kill it. I took eight? I thought I was going to take less. Okay, well, we learned something there. We do not take three. We take eight. We got Demon Bolt versus Beastmaster. I mean, we're, we're probably going to take the free hit here. It might be Rexaring here, right? Yep. Well, if we assume there's another death rattle hunter, although we just played a secret hunter, so this one not good against secret hunter, right? I might regret not keeping this, but probably better in my deck for later. The bat legendary actually worked. Yeah, we double grib rallied or double soul infusioned it. Yeah, it turns out we did the right play because just because um, the three threes we're gonna take an extra turn to win, so I might as well, you know, I only have four two drops. That's like. Pretty close to being a Prince deck already. We might have to, might have to uh, be a Prince deck, guys, because this is not. I don't think this is enough reason to not be this Prince, but we'll see. All right, I kind of like this. I think we're gonna not play this. We're gonna play this now, and the next turn make a big one. Hellfire, Bane of Doom, Shadowbolt, whatever. Go big or go home. <laughs> we can go big or go home. I mean, there's also the reason we don't. We take extra damage by taking that one. I don't think he spells it. He's, he's death rattle, right? So we just have to dodge Hunter's Mark here one time, and then we're good. I guess we also have to dodge Spider Bomb play dead. If he does Spider Bomb though, what does Bane of Doom do? Oh no, Bane of Doom gets countered by it, doesn't it? I wonder. Like, does the death rattle happen before we get the demon? I guess it would, right? Or it wouldn't. Demon would die, yeah. I could have played that one because he just used a Hunter's Mark, but he might have the stupid spider bomb, so. Kind of important we kill this because uh cube right so i should probably eat one of these guys or maybe i play this and then eat the uh the one one right Does that work yeah that will work so if i eat this one this becomes three this one dies this becomes two this one dies it becomes one so i guess i can still tap i could also play this but kind of pass that right So apparently to get to rank 10, we gotta play, uh, no! You gotta play, uh, Death Rattle Hunter here. Played it three times in a row? It seems like we played it a million times in a row. Alright, we can Solarium, see what happens. Um, we got Bane of Doom. If we want. We, we also do this play. Go real wide, right? Go face. I think we're too. I think we're too low to race them. If we race them, I think. I think we have to make this. I mean, I could just hope this taunt works, right? Like, I'm not sure it's going to though. Plus, he just played mind control tech, so there's, a, there's like a reason to trade. I don't mind this because like play that's so powerful. Well, we got, we got the, uh, 
guess we got the quote counter to spider bomb. We'll play that. Bombs? Those aren't exciting enough. Or no, it didn't? No, it didn't, of course. Alright, so did we kill this? Go face. Uh... If, because I got taunt divine shield, I think we can go face there. If I didn't get taunt, then maybe we kill that. I don't know. Your weakness. Uh, Chittering Tuttler, no! I have to play this because it's so good. It's a 5-5 five five right now. I guess we don't have to. We can play these two, huh? He could have Rexar. Is this lethal? No. Yeah, whatever. Rex is not good enough here, right? Like, he needs more than that, almost. He needs, like, mind control tech into... Yeah, I don't know. That's a reason to get poison. Do we win? We might still win. We need to do, we need to do 18 damage. The uh, Direwolf Alpha. The hell. Or Owl. Owl works. Owl works. Mega Jaraxxus versus Gul'dan. Alright, what are we doing here? We got the uh the chittering teller again. I want it again, I want a three drop. I don't want to miss turn three, but I don't want I want the Beastmaster just more. Could be a void lord deck, but actually, you know what? We're gonna keep this because this can get sacrificial pack, and that's a zero mana kill a demon. We'll see if we can get that one. Pretty nifty, right? Maybe zoo. There are demons in Zoo, right? I can coin out a 2-2 two -two to challenge this thing. I don't think he can heal on two mana, can he? I don't think so. so. It could be just a free kill. Computing. If he plays the Prince, then we also get a 2 for 1 him, right? Technically. The worst here is the uh, the just a uh, like a void lord, void walker. That was a good draw. Good draw or best draw? Maybe best draw. Yeah, that was probably our best draw. Good draw. A little bit of understatement there. That was our best draw. Uh, I guess we're gonna play this. No demons. Feeding time does synergize with some of my deck, actually, right? Because we have a cards like uh, Grim Rally. All right. There's no Dreadlord yet. He's going to kill the Dire thing, so I don't think we do it for him. We just let him make that hit there. Zoo's always pretty good, right? Zoo's always pretty good. Attack gets the Dreadlord. Wind Fury is kind of nifty. Yeah, I'll get that. Oh, Soulfire. Yeah, I could have thought about that. I should have thought about Soulfire, huh? Alright.
I don't think we do this because Dreadlord already pretty good. Maybe we uh Maybe we see what we get here. Aha, there we go. Sack back. Alright. Not bad. Oh god. It's playtime. Yikes. That's pretty scary. So Larian with Beastmaster out, it's kind of a dream. It's kind of hard not to do this though, right? Play this uh thing here. 69. I can go ahead and kill one of these if I want to. Maybe I don't. Yeah, maybe we don't. But what's the worst here? Owl, probably. You almost died, Owl. Your magic shall Bellbreaker. Oh, he's trading. Alright, that's good if he's trading. I think that's good. I guess. Well, that turned quickly, so we can feeding time one, and then... <laughs> we need him to play a demon, like, I guess Doomguard kills me, that's the issue. <laughs> Doomguard almost kills me. Alright, he's playing a demon. He's playing a demon. Ooh, this is gonna be a nifty turn, guys. We got Soul Infusion. Play that. Gotta draw Beast. We drew the Beast. The, the Beast. Right. Go ahead and grim rally this one. I even get to tap. Tap last. Okay. Okay. All right. Not of the woods. Right. There's still like doom guards coming probably. That heal definitely helped though. We gotta dodge the second Dreadlord. I, I kind of need these things to live, right? Why do you go? Mushroom power! Well, that worked out because <laughs> we're just gonna. <laughs> do we go for the second? No, I already played the Soul Infusion, so I guess we tap. Maybe I don't even tap. What do you think, guys? Should I tap or is this like no reason? I'm so high. Whatever. 18. Probably safe at 18 here. Famous last words. Gotta dodge the, the, the hellfire from Zoo. Our deck might, I mean, the egg does kind of make Corridor Creeper a better card, technically. Alright, so we got turn two, nothing. Turn three, Beastmaster, turn four. The mulligan with this is pretty easy. We're just trying to get Librarian, Soul Infusion, Beastmaster, and I think that's almost it. There's a reason to play this. Uh, it does... I could save it for when we draw... A pterodax or something, but Truth is found in death. Rams, those are exciting enough. Yeah, there's a five drop beast. I think we don't. We, I think I think I'd rather have the nesting rock. Honestly, the taunt. I feel like 
Might save us more than uh, life steal. Plus, it's bigger. Arena fanatic, new card, a new card. All right, that's a buff boy, but it's a little bit awkward because we want to make this trade, right? Huh? Didn't draw a beast, never lucky. So we're looking for taunt here, obviously. Uh, no, I didn't get taunt. I could Grim Rally. We kind of want to Grim Rally this thing though, right? Yeah. Dark Reaper, what the hell is that? Look at that thing. All right, well, the Divine Shield is pretty good, I guess. So we can go Scarab, Grim Rally. And then, so we hit one of these. So I almost have no room for all this stuff here. That does fill my board. Okay, looks good, looks good. He's got some big ass minions, right? Draw last, all right. We got the Chittering Teller into Dustback Combo Wombo. You win this time. All right, we got a buffed up uh, Beastmaster, hopefully no Hunter's Mark, even the nerfed Hunter's Mark. I'm going to go ahead and coin this out and say what's up. Right, we go. Turn one infusion, coin out of the 5 4 or 5 6 monster. And then uh, we might even do that next turn. I pause there because that, although that's, we can't buff that one because this is in the way too. All right, so no freezing trap to worry about yet. No freezing trap to worry about. No! Are you serious? Never, ever, ever, ever lucky. Yeah. That's probably game. I wasted the coin and two cards on that. Probably done so. Alright, the egg is the thing, because we can egg. Rexar's coming up here. Bomb toss, huh? Interesting. I want can't be targeted, right? Uh, I guess poison versus living spores. You have to assume bad things are going to happen to that thing. Do we keep this egg or do we bust it open? That's interesting too. I guess we keep it because of Rexar. Soul infusion on an owl? Um, no, it's not. Do that. Alright, that was good. I guess.
If I top deck the bat, then I'm definitely going to want to have saved that one. Play dead. He gets a 7 7. We can silence that one. That's a good silence. Okay. Okay. This will dodge Rexar here if we make it a 4 3. Must destroy. We're probably going to trade the ones into the two. Play around Rexar. Go face with the rest of the stuff here. I guess we see what we get here. So, we got Beastmaster versus Tap. Greedy. That's turn eight. All right, that worked out a little bit. The worst, I think the worst is Rexar. He kills the 4 4 with a 7 7, then. Oh, again, we need to play around uh, Crushing Walls, maybe? So we got a Rexar problem. We can make this good hit here. It's technically good, right? It removes this kill. But if he has Rexar, it's like real bad. I think we're going to save that uh, egg, maybe. Maybe I'm overthinking this. Was Rexar good last turn? No! Alright, that worked out. It did work out, technically. We're getting low. Ravenous Pterodax, a buffed one, so let's see what we get here. Oh, that's not... Oh, it doesn't have to be a beast. All right. Health is good. Stealth might be good. All right, can we die from eight? He has Unleash the Hound's Kill Command. One, two, three, four, five, ten. So we die. We die to Unleash Kill Command no matter what. I think we tap. I could get a tap there. Valerium doesn't get a taunt. Yeah. No, there's no taunt, right? Is there a taunt? No. Just a sip, then you are mine. Uh, we got 12, 13, 14, 16. Exact lethal? It better be lethal because we die if it's not. Uh, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. It looks like exact, right? Gotta get a, uh... We could, we could give him a chance with this one. <laughs> Alright, maybe not. Doom, Twisting Nether, and uh, the new card, right? Once in a while we go Beastmaster into Cobalt Librarian, get some value there. The card that impressed me the most with this deck is Chittering Tunneler because of uh, it's no longer the same card it used to be. Yeah, we'll think of something to do in Wild for next week as well. Maybe we'll do that now, actually. Uh, so Chittering Tunneler used to be kind of terrible, but now there's so many one-drop spells you can get. 
whether it's Grim Rally, Soul Infusion, or Solarium. This thing has been impressing me, honestly. Now, it's not the ideal 3-drop, but... Uh, this is an interesting thing. We kind of need to get a Dire Mole or something. <coughs> what class? We haven't done Priest in a while, right? We haven't done... Uh, we just did Warrior. We just did Rogue. We just did Hunter. Priest, I guess. And, uh... Oh, Baku's gross. Um, get some coining out. This we hoping. could coin this out, and maybe he kills it, and then we get like value with these. There's a chance he doesn't do that though. So. Rams, those aren't exciting enough. I'll play it. I'll just play it because he's likely to. Yeah, I don't know. We have many secrets. Oh, that would have been a good one to. Although this one is good for uh, exploding, right? Back, beast. Base is the place. Holy shit, really? He's leaving the Beastmaster up? That can't be right. Oh, that can't be right. He gets destroyed here. Wow, he gets absolutely destroyed. We can go for the, uh, the cheap one. So we got two Dire Moles. And two alphas. Alright, let's just see. Iron Beak Owl. Alright. Uh oh, we lose that guy. Rip. Alright, well, it's so probably not worth overall, but we're so far ahead here. This aggro deck, I don't think runs like Flame Strike in it. I think he. They'll never know. Yeah. He just faces the place here. All right, good luck with that one. You win. Thanks for making it to the end of the video, guys. I have links here for more content. And if you would like to see the channel grow, please click that subscribe button in the middle. Thank you so much, and I will see you next time.